sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Matthews and Uriah Faber. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, a California kid, Uriah Faber! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 45 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hillsboro, Illinois, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, Matt Hughes. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your underway and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. 
When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world. Especially when it looks like you hold the advantage. We talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. So, right, so there it is, the only takedown. He told everyone here during fight week. Oh! It's in there deep. There you go. Submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Favors looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working inside the close guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Hughes is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Faber. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Faber. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the box. Nice stick with the right hand. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Changes his stance. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Beautiful strike. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Ooh-wee. Ooh. Whoa. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground too. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. He's having his way with him here. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Hughes. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Round two next. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. 
You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Second round underway. Faber gets caught with that punch. Oh, big head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Try to establish that jab. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Nice punch by Hughes. A little single collar tie there. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Right hand punch the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, and he lands a double takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. Faber's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. He's attacking the guillotine. Oh, he got a scramble. He got a scramble. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Hughes is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Faye. Two minutes remain in the round. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. That is it. And that will do it. Absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight.
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 57 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, the California Kid, Uriah Hayes. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.